What is going on, Boom Beach? I'm Zedmot. That, of course, is Code Zedmot over there in that creator boost in every Supercell game. We've got a new Boom Pass action happening. You can see we've got the residence skin over there. There's also a headquarters skin if you get to the very, very end. I did not do a sneak peek on this because it's fairly apparent what's going on. Major change. They've added a bunch of rewards at the end. Wish they used that fancy Brawl Stars uh, reward where it just has one at the end and you can get infinite. But uh, we're going to jump into warships today. This is my warship and the log is a sea of red. Um, going to talk about why that is and what you guys can do and all of the rest of the things. So we've got the gunboat at tick one. No reason to upgrade the gunboat, no reason to upgrade the gunboat energy. Just a reminder, if you're going to update this, make sure you update this because getting 10% of 32 is not as good as getting 10% of 52 for obvious, obvious reasons. Um, full bare bones approach. I know some of you have gone back and gotten that doom cannon. I am ignoring its siren song at the moment, just going full forwards, not through the troop damage as some of you might have assumed, but through those mortars because mortars are such a good defensive building. Then we're getting building damage into heavies, maxing heavies. Heavies are my only viable troop. I started in 12 so I could get all the way to heavies. If you don't start in 12, you might just have to go into tanks. Tanks are very, very viable. Uh, you probably want to get flares because without flares, this is crazy painful. And if you're going to get flares, you can always use rifles, of course. But I'm just doing straight across, rushing to get to barrage. And then I'm going to decide if I go to seekers or heavy choppas uh, behind that negative node, of course. Um, now, the next question, of course, that's going to come up is whether or not you go for engine rooms before Zookas. And uh, I did... You, you're going to lose regardless with this deck tree. So uh, I bit the bullet, went into four. That way I built my base. Uh, I think I actually managed to pull off a win here uh, without Zookas maybe. Let's just double check that. Do we have Zookas here? No Zookas, just heavies, no flares. And you can literally close the game at this point because you have no control over what's happening. Sure, you're collecting gunboat energy, but you got no flares, no smoke, no shocks, no critters, no artillery, no barrage, no temporary gunboat ability. So it's all about where you place your troops. Early season grossness. And uh, those players who are have opened up most of their chests here are going to have things like flares and stuff. So uh, it's really only this early season meta where I am just going to be absolutely getting crushed. Boom cannons, of course, calling the name, but we're going to go into machine guns next. And we should be able to get there on our next chest. Unless, of course, we fall out of iron, which is also a possibility. Azuka's making things palatable, though. Uh, just all he I wouldn't it's not even heavy Russian it's more like heavy crawl and it's so 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 frustrating uh, we should be able to ignore that cannon on that right hand side reminder that Zookas do outrange flamethrowers that should be pretty obvious to many 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 of you uh, we are gonna go down to three boats of heavies for that exact reason we're gonna put you over there you guys over here, and then some of these Zookas over here, and then just hold some heavies. Probably don't need this many. Actually, I don't think I even need any heavies on this hit. I think this was a complete and utter dum-dum on my part. Uh, there are more Zookas than there are heavies, so it would have been better to send all Zookas against this base because there's going to be like three times as many troops to get shot in the face, but not really thinking all that well, unfortunately. So these early days, if you face a base without mortars, skip on the heavies. They're, the heavies are doing nothing. Uh, Zooka's hitting a boom mine, you lose one troop. Heavies hitting a boom mine, you end up losing like 
I don't even know how many housing spots a heavy takes up, but it's more than a Zooka. So, unfortunate hit by me. We should maybe still be able to pick up the win. Maybe. Uh, but there's nothing being done by us here except for watching. All of our heavies are long gone. Getting shot in the face as a heavy, not as ideal as a Zooka getting shot by a single shot defense. We are going to pick up a 249 I have no idea if that's fast or not against the riskiest of the farts we're gonna see if they're gonna check their underwear after this hit what did I say 249 that mortar gonna be doing all of the work right about now we are gonna pick up the win Ah, it's, it's, it's sledding. It's tough sledding right now, my friends. The Zookas are making things doable. Before the Zookas, though, uh, going against those three engine room players with the Doom Cannon, with just heavies, not super duper fun. We've got a chest. That's going to be super duper helpful. We're going to pick up those machine guns. Uh, I am gonna max them I hate to do this because barrage we're not gonna have any sort of power to put into but I just didn't have the guts to you'd have to go with super super low defenses and then I probably would have fallen out of iron in the process so I'm just gonna double check the base Actually, you know what? I think it's right about here. We are going to copy Mr. Knight Wada's base. Knight Wada, the defensive superstar of superstars. So, machine gun there, machine gun there. I think I already have, yeah. So, this is the base that I've already been working on. So, shout out to Mr. Knight Wada. Just going back, seeing where else he has the machine guns. I figured, you know what? Let's just build the base without machine guns. Not sure if that was the right idea or not, but the fact that we haven't fallen out of iron means uh, was not the worst decision. Is that all of our machine guns? We've got one more to place. I assume it's over here right about uh, there is going to be my guess. Let's just double check that. Love copying people's bases. Nope, slightly over to the left. I had the right idea, wrong position though. Uh, we're going to put it about there. If that's not right, we'll tweak it later. Uh, warships this season. Uh, the players who are going without mortars, well, well done. That was my first initial idea was to think, hey, we got to go through uh, troop damage, but mortars just so, so helpful as you saw there. Uh, we're going to get, let's see, how many we need for this side. We're going to go, to, can we go three boats? Yes, no mortars again, but they do have machine guns. So uh, earlier on, I said, of course, that if they don't have mortars, but then have to put on the disclaimer saying, obviously, machine guns change that a little bit. So, getting those heavies and Zookas on that right-hand side. Would love to go all right-hand side, but then, of course, our troops are going to wrap, and they're going to go from there. They're going to come all the way down to here. So, without flares, you really, really have to think about how you spread your troops, where to put your troops. Uh, it's a little bit of a different beast, so I do like the f amount of thinking that's required when it comes to warships without flares, but I would love to be heavy rushing with flares at the moment, but barrage, heavy choppers, seekers, whatever it might be is going to be drastically different. I don't think we've ever had a season like this where we have had green mines this gosh darn late about my language there in the tech tree uh, if you guys have seen one please do let me know i can't recall one those machine guns are so dangerous against our zookas but as you can see even without troop health i don't think we have troop health troops standing in there taking the shots we have got a 242 and we've added machine guns to our base dyson lin dyson lin always 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 on the defensive side of the ball i'm gonna guess he's using tanks let's oh he's not using tanks that is a huge 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 surprise med kits though uh, i think med kits are if you go up where even the heck are med kits okay so dyson lin went up there for some reason oh i'm guessing because he went through troop damage i could have looked at his stats probably to figure it out but uh not sure now i've already been in 13 
I had two wins to start the season, got into 13, and then fell out in a big, big hurry, as you saw by that log. Okay, so shout out to Dyson Lin. I'm guessing he's going to go back for tanks. Dyson Lin is a perennial uh, defensive player on Boom Beach. We're going to... Do I have the guts to go with three boats? Yeah, we're... I mean, again, same thing. If you have the intestinal fortitude to go with three boats of heavies, you're going to get some good, good things, I think. Uh, it's just a matter of keeping those heavies alive. So we are going to keep a couple of our heavies in behind. Uh, they are going to slowly but surely creep out from, I believe, this left-hand side. You saw there I got a little bit lucky against those back-back machine guns. So right about now, there is nothing that our heavies are doing on this bottom left-hand side. All they're doing is getting shot in the face. Then they're going to go against flamethrowers, which Zuka's outrange. So we are going to hold our heavies for as long as we have the guts to do and then they're gonna sneak on in coming in from behind and they should get there around when we get near those machine guns might have dropped them a little bit late but the fact is as you saw last time our zookas can stand in there against those gosh darn machine guns there we go that's where the heavies are gonna be super super useful getting those heavies in late against those machine guns making all sorts of value for us uh, only got three left but that's all we needed that was i gotta say almost perfectly executed yes there are faster ways and better ways and all the rest but uh, three boats heavies with one of them withdrawn worked out fairly gosh darn well people are fizzling left right and center and uh, that is not because those are not skilled players. Those are people just going full lean, gritting their teeth and taking their hits because they want to get to barrage and up into here, maybe taking the hit on troop damage. Now, just a quick note, you can go negative troop damage even if you have not unlocked the troop damage. I had a bunch of you ask that question. All it's going to do is reduce your troops base stats. I hope that makes sense. Just like you can get this troop damage to go up, you can get this one to go down. And I think that most people are going to be taking the hit on that troop damage um, simply because of the fact that we're going to have barrage here. So we want GBE. We're going to have either seekers or heavy choppers here. So we're going to want the troop health. Uh, let's do one more hit, see if we can't get into Barrage. Obviously need to get into higher ranks if I want to get those Seekers and or Heavy Choppas. We'll leave it right here. Um, I will try to get my feet under me. I just still have not caught up from vacation. I got two kids playing All-Star Ball and another kid playing uh, field hockey and mountain biking so my life is completely and utterly swamped at the second we're gonna go down to two boats of heavies uh, we don't need any heavies on this right hand side so we're gonna go one where do we want to get you we're gonna go over here and then we're gonna scroll back here and again don't need heavies yet I can't stress that enough none of these things can kill our Zookas, so we're gonna hold our heavies in a big, big way, holding our heavies on this side completely, and then as we start to get into the range of those machine guns, we will slowly but surely release some of those heavies. I'm still gonna hold, actually, you know what? Let's release a heavy over here on this side. That way, these ladies on this right hand side hopefully will live. Didn't release those right hand side heavies in time unfortunately but those left hand side guys doing a decent job uh, i am not doing a good job of showing when to release your troops hopefully these ideas do get you thinking though because holding your troops in this season without flares is so 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 vital this attack could have been way faster hopefully that machine gun goes down we are not going to fizzle, I don't think, but we could have been way faster. And a lot of players out there are going to be fizzling this season and just simply holding your troops or changing your troops up in slight, tiny little changes is going to make all the difference in the world for you. We should have been around 245, I would guess. 
Uh, dropped these right-hand side heavies way too late. Dropped these left-hand side heavies a little bit too late. But as you saw there, late works. Uh, too early and you're going to have no Zookas left. You're going to have no heavies left. That mortar is going to crush. Oh, it's not going to get a shot off, it looks like. So this player might just finish. Nope, they're going to fizzle too. So Jim Jam, is that that site where you make the Christmas animation back when Flash was a thing on the internet? Anyways, well that was Jib Jab, close, but no cigar. Machine Gun gonna finish them off. Are they gonna retreat or are they gonna stand in and take their licks? Yeah, down goes Jim Jam, retreating back until Christmas another time. We're gonna leave it there. Hopefully this gives you that early season tech choices. Uh, boom cannons always, always call them people's name. The biggest one, though, I think, is avoiding that Doom Cannon. If you don't have the keys to get all the way to Zookas, even after unlocking your chests, Doom Cannon will help you level up, but it's going to be a whole long slog in that three engine room level full of fizzles. That is why I made the push to get forward to Zookas, and then it's going to be a choice of do I have the guts to go Seekers? Notice that with Seekers, there's no Shock Mines yet, there's no Shock Launchers yet, there are also no Green Mines, and at the end of the tree, Seekers are gonna be crazy because of that Cryo Bomb. Uh, that is a long, long, long ways away though. We have these tiny chests, and tiny ch I love all the chests, but these tiny chests are gonna be a big, big change from last season, where we were getting like 50 keys per chest so hopefully that helps you out as always hit me up in the comments if you have questions i am zedmod consider liking and sharing and subscribing do note that deploying troops those boom pass missions are fulfilled on warships so if you don't play the main base you can do many of them obviously sending that submarine on a dive not gonna be a thing in warships though also do know that as you can see there we have got clone rifles clone rifles are ridiculously ridiculously strong you guys know all of this already i shall talk to you soon thanks for coming in i'm zedmon peace